when you say export and when you say import what is happening in a back end as a basis consultant if you know what is happening in a back end then only you can troubleshoot if you get any problem right so today we'll see what happens in the back end when you import a transport request just you are selecting a transport request just you are putting your cofile and data file into quality systems so cofile and data file and selecting your transport request and you are saying truck button you are clicking truck button and you are selecting the trans target client and the options and say okay it is importing how it is importing what is happening in the back end that we'll see today there are two executable files in sap which are responsible for this exporting and importing one is tp.exe second one is r3 trans.exe r3 trans.exe so remember here tp.exe .exe means where you will get that file in your kernel directory so when you say ex when you say release a transport request what hap what is happening in the back end Releasing is nothing but exporting from the database level to application level. So this export and when you say import, both the things are done by this tp.exe and r3trans.exe. Remember here, your uh, tp won't do any work. Tp just initiates r3trans. Actually, who will connect with your database means r3trans. r3trans will connect with your database. That is the reason. Uh, to check the uh, connectivity between application to database, we use r3trans-d command to check the link between application to database. So actual work is done by r3trans. TP only initiate the works. r3trans.exe is responsible for exporting the data from uh, database to application and importing the data from application to database. Both export work and import work both done by r3trans.exe actual work is done by r3trans.exe so <clears throat> when you import a transport request how this tp and r3trans are working to work this tp properly you should have that tp profile <clears throat> where you will get the tp profile usr sap trans bin under that bin you will be having tp underscore domain underscore sid dot pfl file is there now if that file is missing your tp won't know what to do so that file contains all the host names, all the database names uh, which are uh, participated in this in TMS and the transport layers, transport routes information. Everything will be there. So TP will read that profile, TP profile. If the TP profile is working, uh, not work, uh, not there, TP won't work. Remember the interrelationship between this TP.exe and that TP profile. <clears throat> Who will do the actual work? R3 trans who will initiate tp.exe when you import a transport request what happens so you will be having for example one co file what is your co file name for example k some 9 lakh 2 and what is your data file r some 9 lakh 2 <coughs> See. now you said stms underscore import stms underscore import and select your transport request SID K9 lakh 2 and say single track button so what is happening in a backend at operating system level what is happening this is OS level only na? OS level what is happening TP reads the co-file from where co-file subdirectory to know the necessary steps to be taken to import this data into the database this is at application level right database is here in the bottom in the bottom I am having database this is my database now you are at application level this USR SAP transdirectory belongs to application from application to database you have to import to import this data this R9 lakh to data into this database what some background jobs need to be run that background jobs information will be kept in your co-file controlling information so first who will who is responsible tp and r3 trans right so tp first comes and reads the co-file from co-file subdirectory it will go to co-file subdirectory and read that co-file and tp will understand okay these are the steps i need to perform fine 
then it will copy that cofile from cofile subdirectory and paste it into your temp subdirectory where it is running i told you why we use temp directory execution of that background jobs you need is a temporary storage area right so it will use that area that is the reason it will copy that entire cofile to temp subdirectory first tp reads cofile from cofile subdirectory and copies that cofile into temp subdirectory what is this cofile is having all the necessary jobs we need to run everything is written in that then i'll write down otherwise first thing what happens tp reads cofile from cofile directory right any doubt here please if you are having any doubt stop me anyone when you say import in a backend this will happen second paste into temp subdirectory what is it is pasting paste cofile cofile into temp subdirectory okay done third point tp initiates r3 trans now r3 trans is coming tp initiates r3 trans tp is ordering r3 trans to do the import job now how r3 trans know what are the steps i need to perform r3 trans reads cofile from temp, temp directory and perform necessary, necessary action. actions finally leaves log at temp directory so who is a tp is a builder r3 trans is a worker so i i ordered r3 trans to uh, perform some task at that location so you finish that work and from that location only you will inform me right sir the you whatever the work you have assigned me i have completed the same way r3 trans read control for from sub directory temp sub directory and perform necessary actions and leaves the log log means what whether it is successful cancel everything whatever at the temp directory only it will finish the work and it will leave the log there itself finally the hero will come into picture tp comes and reads log from which directory temp directory temp directory and moves log to log sub directory there is another sub directory right log is there <coughs> here first first the log will generate here from here it will move that log to log sub directory the first thing is tp reads the cofile and paste it into temp directory first process second one tp calls r3 trans to do the tp initiates r3 trans r3 trans will come and read the cofile from temp sub directory and perform the necessary actions and the leaves the logs it itself there finally tp comes and read the log from temp directory and finally give log to log sub directory this will happen at operating system level transport is hang if your transport is running for so long time where you will check now see observe something few things here see temp in temp it is running all the jobs means in this if you open that temp sub directory na some job names will come and vanish come and vanish that means your tra import is happening and you will get the log in log directory first of all you have to check whether cofile and data file exist or not the second thing you have to check whether tp is working or not how you check whether tp is working or not there is one report called rs tp test go to sc38 t code and run that rs tp test report if you get everything nike symbol oh, i'll show you otherwise
go to SC38 and hit RSTP test RSTP test and enter execute <coughs> so you have to check whether your TP is working fine or not and you got cofile in data file or not and your temp directory is updating or not and did you get a log in that log subdirectory see everything is green here no all these things are not green so some problem is there in your tp definitely you will get transport import prediction problem everything should be in green then only that means your tp is working fine like this we have to check so till now you know what is happening in a backend and application level so cofile data file tp you need to check temp directory you need to check log directory yes or no any doubts here yes. no everyone please no doubts so if anybody ask you about transport troubleshooting you should know all these things okay we have to check whether tp is working or not by using rstp test uh, report then uh, first of all, we have to check whether cofile and data file generated or not. Then we have to check temp directory whether it is updating or not. Okay. Then we have to check the log. Okay. In log directory also we check log. Fine. And what is happening at the database level? That is second one. Database now. In database level, uh, if you go with a database level, there are two tables called. Uh, first, what happens in database level? We'll see. First, TP reads cofile from cofile subdirectory screen is not okay and screen change avale do now yeah okay thank you yeah <laughs> tp reads cofile from cofile subdirectory then uh, we need to discuss about two things here one is a tr bat table second one is tr job table there are two tables in the database level in transport troubleshooting you have to mention about these two tables one is tr bat second one is a tr job table tp reads the cofile from cofile subdirectory and this cofile contains what all the necessary jobs right what are the jobs need to run to import that data na? the job names will start from rdd jobs rdd some name will be there so i am going with star 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 some rdd jobs you need to run to import that data that all the jobs will be written to your tr bat table okay one by one job will be copied to tr job table and it will execute first rdd job finish executed Second RDD job will be copied to TR job executed. Third RDD job, fourth RDD. Like this, all your RDD jobs which are needed for import that transport request the data into your target database, uh, all the jobs name will be written in your co file. That co file's information is this will be pasted into your TR bat table. Later, all the jobs will be executed in TR job table. So, if somebody asks you about a transport troubleshooting, you have to tell them whether TR bat and TR job got any old entries. If there are any old entries, that new entries is not accepting that. So you have to delete that two tables entries. Then you have to re-import that transport. Then you will get it. So first TP reads cofile from cofile co subdirectory. Second thing, paste cofile into tr bat table tr bat table this you know so it applica at application level tp reads cofile and paste it into temp subdirectory at database level it is pasting into tr bat table it is pasting into tr bat table remember that table name third at application level tp initiates r3 trans right here tp initiates one job called rdd imp dp job remember these keywords rdd imp dp what is this rdd imp dp means 
import dispatcher rdd jobs i told you rdd and then job name i import dispatcher job so this rdd impdp job is scheduled in all sap systems what is this job duty means import dispatcher so this job will run for each and every one minute according to the parameter time whatever time you set according to that this job will check in your system whether is there any imports i have to perform for every one minute the job will run and it will check the job will run it will check is there any imports i need to perform yes if there are any imports are pending it will import into the database so to do import anything into your database this job must be scheduled in your all the clients so tp initiates that job okay it will go and kick that job okay here some import job is there you perform then rdd impdp will start one job another job from one the rdd job into tr bat then second rdd job into tr job it will copy this rdd job into tr job and execute and vanish this job copy execute and vanish finally they leave login log sub directory i think tr bat i think uh, leaves log it log sub directory at application level sub directory means finish this will happen at a database so paste it into oh, okay uh, it initiates a tr bat okay fourth one we will write this copy one by one job into tr job table now you can say tr job table and execute okay table and execute then leaves log at log sub directory this is happening at the database level so see at application level the troubleshooting part is whether tp is working or not whether cofile data file generated or not third one <coughs> check the temp directory check log sub directory at database level you have to check whether tr bat and tr job tables got any old entries whether rdd impdp job is scheduled or not then you have to check this log also so you have to mention tr bat table name tr job table name and rdd impdp if anybody asks you about your <coughs> this uh, transport troubleshooting what are the job names tr bat and tr job these two are tables remember tr bat and tr job are tables rdd impdp is job rdd impdp job so if you mention all these keywords that is enough for transport troubleshooting